In the early evening of September 21st, 2012, people began to gather in the cities of Rhodesia. Many gathered to trade. Others gathered to try their luck. Some gathered just to gather. In one city, many people gathered for the same reason. Most were gathering to start a fight. would face each other that evening. Coalition, Black River Group mercenaries who were hired by the Defizer Corporation, and the Rebellion, led and represented by civilian forces. The battle would last all night long. The coalition landed in the morning. They only barely landed in one piece. On arrival, they quickly set up a forward operating base, then got to work on the surface-to-air missile site that nearly took their lives. Within hours, they controlled a majority of those sites. That wouldn't last. In fact, control of the SAMs would change hands all night long. The Rebellion was able to successfully initiate four launches, stalling vital resupply drops that would have kept the Coalition from starving that night. It got so bad, some troops defected in hopes of finding some food. Fate would have it that their defections occurred just as the first airdrop was about to arrive. The Black River Group was tasked with resupplying the locals with the K131 vaccine you, of you need to and keeping the, the peace. Rules and do it appropriately. We'll that dude up. Ask them to nail down. Search them. Did they touch you? Yes. Where did they touch you? Um... They physically Back hurt you. Neck, kick okay. my knee. They kicked your knee. Kicked your knee. Well, mm. I slight exaggeration. Because of some light fighting early in the evening, they decided to grab all the medication and bunker down. This turned out to be a bad plan. Without the vaccine, the locals became restless. Not far into the evening, they attacked the Defizer distribution facility.
the Rebels lost. Desperate, people decided to offer up four confessed attackers in hopes that the med supply would resume. Instead, those four were executed. No! The vaccine supply remained closed. And that's really why we're here. Now, a lot of the uh, rebels have been saying that uh, they want everyone out of their country. But, uh, uh, you know, I've heard that too, and I really believe that you got to take that same into context. And the context is that they want foreign aggressors out, but they, they've welcomed us with open arms. They love the fact that we're As here. it turns out, the four attackers that were executed had never actually attacked. Two anonymous leaders were guiding the insurgency from within the marketplace. At about midnight, one of the leaders realized that things were not progressing in their favor. He amassed an army within minutes and set out to find the coalition. They have subsequently, for the time being, neutralized these SAM sites, enabling us to get the support we need. Most importantly, now my men are eating. The coalition's base was largely considered unbreachable. The only cover that surrounded it was sagebrush. And technology was on their side. They had a portable radar system that alerted them of enemy positions from anywhere in the vicinity. At about one in the morning, the radar system began going off. It registered over 90 bodies in the area. Go is moving to intercept motion on the radar around the Iranian pile. They could be used defended by the fire to the finally ended in a draw. The coalition were consequently unable to complete another objective, which was to gather intelligence on a believed arms trade happening in the area. The trade happened. and nobody knew about it. As the sun rose, the fighting resumed and continued for much of the morning.
that's what I got to do. Love it. Let's grab it. Amani Kurumi, one of the rebel leaders, ended up hiding in a nearby power station. He never made it out alive.